Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is dedicated to uh, summer makeup and makeup uh, that can withstand uh, humidity. I don't have an oily skin, but I can completely relate to the difficulties in uh, uh, in summer for for people with oily skin because I live in a very humid climate and in summer I have the same problems as people with oily skin and a lot of people in summer have uh, their skin on an oily side whereas in other uh, months they are completely like they can't even have a dry skin but in summer it's tricky so I gathered the makeup that is more flattering and long-lasting in uh, summer and especially if you live in humid climate like I do I live in Barcelona and it's like almost 100% humidity I just really for me summer makeup uh, is really a challenge now I will start with the prep and that would be something light that I actually always use in summer is this serum slash hydrating um, like moisturizing uh, moisturizer for me this is a Bioderma Hydro Serum now this is fantastic under the makeup and it serves like two things at once or three even serum moisturizer and uh, prep for the makeup okay I'm not gonna talk about SPF because it's a completely different uh, like realm and we all have our own preferences and depending on our skin and condition and everything so now this number one that I use for years especially in summer love it and it has hyaluronic acid so it's light yet it's moisturizing and it's plumping to the skin another big thing is um, pr uh, primer for years I've been trying different kinds but I feel like for oily skin in summer this is the best option especially for the t-zone if you have a very oily skin everywhere oh I don't know I guess there are maybe there are other options but for me especially for the t-zone this works like it's magic it just really gives this uh, preppy look and whatever foundation you put on or just powder on top it just looks amazing because in summer very often I don't put any foundation I will use my moisturizer SPF I put this um, on the on the places that I need and then I will powder my face and I'm gonna show the powder that I use that has a color for me powder for summer has to be something in between foundation powder because very often I was just as I said I'll just like powder my face and that's that this is my number one uh, actually it is kind of a powder it's luminous matte powder makeup I think this is the best product ever because for summer because in summer this is by Chanel and I have in uh, it's pretty kind of on a darker side that as I said for summer I need it's in sable but like right now I also powder my face but I also have a little bit of uh, foundation actually now even though I feel like I'm a little bit shiny but it's just because I'm talking and it's really hot and I cannot switch on the air conditioner because we'll have like this buzz that's why but other than that it it really gives this nice like it it's matte but it's not it's luminous matte all this creamy like like dewy um, bronzers or uh, blushes is a bit tricky it's actually it can make your skin look oily and not that nice like you will look like a ball of dewiness that borders with oily skin so for me this is amazing because I can use this bronzer this is by Bio, uh, 
Bioderma. This is by Bourgeois. Bourgeois? Yeah, Bourgeois. Bourgeois. Okay. This is one of the best uh, bronzers. I use it. I, I showed it many times. Why? Because it's matte, but it's blurring matte, and it has creaminess about it. I don't know how they did this texture. It's it's powdery, like it's powder, but it's kind of creamy powder. And you can apply it on top of this powder. And you also can apply it uh, without a powder and it won't leave patches on your face because it's somehow, it's just, I mean, it's, it's amazing. Like for the uh, hot weather, it's fantastic. It has a blurring effect and it's kind of like mattifying for the face and it's just like fantastic. Amazing uh, bronzer for hot weather. For the uh, blush, I would say uh, cream into powder textures are the best for any type of skin uh, because when you apply it, it's sort of a creamy, but then it gets into the powder effect even though it's not a powder, which leads us to the point where if you don't want to use powder, you can apply it on top of your uh, um, foundation but it's not going to be too glossy, you know what I mean? And my favorite uh, cream to powder blush is by uh, Shiseido, their, what's the name? Blush Minimalist Whipped, whipped Powder Foundation, or Whipped Cream Powder Foundation, it's it just whipped powder, it's called. I love this color, especially in Sonoya. It's this, I actually have it on my face. It's just this beautiful peachy pink and very much loved, as you can see. And just this, amazing. I also like very much this by Maybelline, uh, Chick Hit. It has, it's like gel cream. It's also amazing texture because it's very thin and when applied on a cheek, it will leave this watery dewiness, but it's not going to be this creamy oiliness, you know? So it's kind of also very sheer, transparent. Absolutely adore this formula. Now, if you want a little bit of shimmer on your face, please, <clears throat> like, don't go for uh, any highlight because during the day you will have a natural highlight. I would suggest to have some uh, powder uh, blush that has a little bit of shimmer. For me, the best thing for summer is NARS Orgasm. Now, you know my uh, opinion about NARS Orgasm. I used to hate it, like literally, this is the word, but I changed my opinion because I find this, like I have a mini version. It's amazing for summer and actually applied it on top of this to give a little bit more color because this kind of like disappears quicker. So I kind of fix this color on top with this one and it gives this shimmer because it has a little bit of golden um, sheen, not glitter, it has like a very, very finely milled uh, golden uh, shimmer uh, as before it has a little, like, a chunk of glitters. So now they're formulated it, I think so, or they have another version, but this one is amazing. And yeah, just choose the powder with a little bit of shimmer and that will be your highlight. Another version that I absolutely adore is by Essence, is their blush. It has actual, like, a bronzy kind of it's almost almost like a can be your uh, it actually can be your three things uh, bronzer blush and highlight in one in color bespoke it's absolutely amazing i use it every summer and it's a very fast on the go fix for the face if you don't have time you can just apply this and you don't need to bother about anything on your cheek. 
I don't know if you can catch, like, the light is very weird. I mean, I love it. Your face just looks so tan and bronze and also has a little shimmer. Very little. Uh, now, okay, talking about uh, foundation, as I said, normally I won't even use any foundation, but if I do, choose the foundation in the stick because it's lighter than uh, than actually like a if you want to go for the light foundation lighter foundation tend to be dewy or they don't cover anything but if you go for the like uh full coverage it's too thick on the face for summer so go for the stick foundation which is something in between and normally yes they're on a more matte side but they're not that matte as the liquid matte foundation can be my favorite my favorite of all the uh, stick foundation is this by Lancome I showed it many times uh, this is uh, their it's, I mean it's so used that I anyway I'm gonna write down below the video the name I love the texture it's on a matte side but it's also gives a little bit of dewiness and in winter I don't even have to powder my face in summer I do but just lightly because as I said my skin is not oily so for me I like this a little bit of dewiness on my face this this is amazing a uh, foundation and also it serves as of a under eyes concealer it's a two-in-one amazing as I said I love products uh, cream and to powder one of my favorite ones is this trio it's actually by a bio brand Sante mm, I think it's German brand anything that has uh, green um, color color correct this is actually cream into powder um, I use it many times I, I showed it many times for me it's one of the best ones and while I, why I need the green uh, color, color collect especially in summer because I find that somehow in summer very often my eyelids are a little bit more swollen um, or if you're sleep deprived for instance if you're a young mother and you don't sleep enough your eyelid can be swollen and it's the best for me to prep my eyelids and it kind of like like when you uh put it on your uh, eyelids it looks a bit greenish but then disappears put very lightly put a little bit just cancel the redness and then it disappears it's just like beautiful uh canvas for your um any eyeshadows you're gonna put eyeshadows I would choose something that has a matte effect don't go for shimmery eyeshadows because thing is with the oily skin whatever uh, powder or foundation you put during the day your face gonna still look dewy and we know it <laughs> like yes it's the fact your skin looks dewy during the day anyways to make sure visually if you place matte effect in certain areas of your face in the whole in a visually like you gonna see your face okay it's dewy but certain areas of your face are still matte so it kind of will balance the dewiness of your oiliness of your skin with this matte um, uh, certain places where your skin looks more polished so in a whole you're gonna look more um, you know more more groomed like more neat so to speak so for me very important that my eyelids are not too glittery not not too oily like you can have some little glitter on your eyelids but don't go for shimmer okay that's different so for me one of my favorite uh, matte uh, um, eyeshadow sticks are obviously <laughs> everybody knows about it is by gosh it's my favorite texture I love it it's sheer it's nice and it's the best canvas also for like a prep for 
powder foundation if you want to put on top but I would say in summer I normally leave it at that my two favorite by gosh is one very light twisted brown and another more um, intense in dark brown I use it all the time actually I don't have it right now on my face because I have another more um, on a warm side these are the colors absolutely adore it you can have two of this and live the whole summer if you like cool toned if you like on the warmer side I absolutely adore this by H&M I have them for X also for years the, the color I cannot see I have it right now on my eyelids I'm gonna write down below so this is like a kind of a taupey brown absolutely adore this color I have it right now as I said on my eyelids you can share it out as you see and I also put a little bit I kind of fix it with this um, bronzer and that's that and this has a little bit like of a matte effect if you want to have a little shimmer go for shimmery uh, eyeshadow that has just this powdery shimmer that has a little bit like of wet effect but not glitter you know this kind of a kind of shimmer that is like looks oily I love the um, formula of this Christian Dior mono um, eyeshadows my favorite one and X I can I can I think I'm gonna write down below the video in number 40 541 I have it right now in my lids it's just uh, this cool toned gold uh, uh, color it's fantastic I have it for a long time already but it still works it didn't dry off and it's just beautiful actually for me like if it comes to shimmer I like more gold on a cool side than like bronze you know what I mean like golden bronze I like Kind of a silver golden like something in between for the eye concealer i would go for like number one nurse uh, soft matte concealer i have in custard for summer for winter i would go for vanilla if you are light uh if you have a, a light skin like me i mean they have many shades of it for everyone like this is amazing it's matte but it's not too matte it's fantastic for your under eye and cover pimples and your redness it's amazing one of the best uh, formulas in like for me it's the best thing and I also like will tap down my nose just to you know like almost like a foundation for me actually I think like I feel like I need to do it now because I am shining as I said because I don't have the air condition right now I'm like literally like it's also very good on the go prep do you see like I kind of covered my t-zone on a spot I look better much better so yeah absolutely amazing and I will like advise uh, for really something like this I don't know actually I don't know anything better at least for me now uh, the powder as I said I would choose something like has a color and also like a powder foundation because it's more thick and you need just a tiny bit and your face will be uh, fine another favorite of mine especially for under eye area which where you kind of want a little bit on the lighter side powder but still mattifying is this by NYX finishing powder um yeah that's like it has a little bit uh yellow tint and this one is really good actually it's one of the favorite by make um among makeup artists now what else um our lashes as we know it should be probably a waterproof mascara i don't use waterproof mascara for the reason that my eyes are very sensitive and they don't tolerate waterproof mascara but I have my favorite one this is uh, Grandiose Lancome it also has a waterproof version love this uh, mascara a lot like 
okay it's just a preference preference mascaras with like what you like that you use but i absolutely love this one I use it all the time and i get back to this my uh to this essence mascara that i forgot how much i liked it and i recently got it and right now i just adore it uh it's uh, lash princess they also have it in uh waterproof so yeah but okay this is like whatever now lips this pretty much the last thing okay later we'll go with the makeup setters and it's gonna be matte okay i'm gonna talk about this now a <laughs> little below the lips because it's the last thing matte finish um makeup setter i love this by nyx very much i just finished it and yeah works uh the lips uh i like this too by elizabeth arden very much um I won't specifically use a very matte lipstick because it's not very summery, you know, we want a little bit of uh, dewiness, glossiness, but I wouldn't go for um, very glossy lips because as I said, as I said, that would just give you more kind of a oily effect face if your face will be oily during the day and then you have this shiny glossy lips, then it's just as I said, it, you will look too oily everywhere and we need to balance. Even though that will be like my two favorite lipsticks, they have SPF 15 and it's red and kind of beige. -y. Right now I have on my lips my favorite by Tom Ford. It has a mattifying effect but also on a dewy, like kind of a satiny side. It's actually a summer edition, loving it a lot. Now, and for a glossiness, if you absolutely need some gloss, go for some something like oil infused because oil will give you dewiness and like glossiness, but it will set in into nice dewy finish, but not too glossy. And my favorite is of course by Bobbi Brown, oil infused crushed gloss crushed oil infused gloss and that's that thank you very much for watching i hope it was helpful if you like this video give me a thumb up and i will see you in my next video bye bye